I'm not doing enough for my kids. I'm not capable. I know too little. I'm not good enough mom. I should have done this or that. These are the thoughts that run from my mind when I feel frustrated or disappointed with myself as a mother. I'm sure I'm not the only one thinking this way sometimes. Parents of complex needs children may relate even more because our children require special attention and, and, and a different, I would say, um, a uni unique approach. Hi, I'm Julia from A Gift of a Special Child. I'm a mother of Olivia who has a rare and complex genetic disorder called um, Red Syndrome. My deepest desire is to help parents to recognize a pure gift in their disabled children and realize that life can still be full of joy. I'd like to empower mothers to accept their worthiness and absolute enoughness of being perfect mothers for their special kids. As a mother, I often get the feeling that I'm not doing enough for my kids. My son is 10 um, and my disabled daughter is almost 5. They are like two completely different worlds. <laughs> I always wanted to have at least two kids. Um, the ideal picture in my head um, was that they would play together, entertain each other, and I would look at them smiling while cooking a family dinner. In the real life, my kids have nothing in common <laughs> apart from facial features. They have different needs, different games, different likes and uh, almost different lives, although we are one family. I struggle big time uh, to spread my attention between them um, evenly, to make them both happy, satisfied, fat, entertained uh, at the same time. When I think I felt, I carry a lot of guilt about it. I think when the child is born, every parent got injected with a dose of um, parent guilt. And we have to accept that this is normal because obviously we wish the best for our kids. Usually the best, <laughs> as we see it, is not always what we can offer to them. There, is all, there will be always something more um, you can do compared to what you've been doing so far or what others do. If I take uh, my own example, I often think that um, I could try more different um, therapies for Olivia because other mothers um, somehow manage to find time for that. Other moms are so engaged, involved in different activities with their kids. Or another big one, um, I feel guilty that I don't spend enough quality time with, with my son because my daughter requires more physical attention. Drawing myself back to the present moment during some quiet time, realizing how much I'm actually doing help me to avoid those nasty moments of beating myself up um, over things in my life. What I understood over time is that it's a losing game to compare yourself to others and try to compete. I think that the concept um, I'm not good enough is rooted in the mental process of comparing myself to others. How do we know what uh, enough is? What does it mean good enough? Who does measure that good enoughness? Love is, is the most important thing you can give to your child and it's more than good enough. Expression of love can take different shapes and forms just by knowing that you act with the best intention, with great love in every given situation, be assured you are the best mom for your children, whether they have a disability or not. Give yourself a break and remember you are a human being and you do mistakes and that's okay, you learn and grow from them. Just stay conscious and mindful about how far you've come and how much you carry on your shoulders as a special needs parent. Close your eyes and find a quiet moment. Take a deep breath and place your hand over your heart. It's okay to not have it all figured out just yet. It's okay to not be in the same place as others. It's okay to want and have child-free time for yourself just to recharge. 
It's okay not try to be a perfect mother. You're doing great. No one will ever love your child more than you, and it's more than good enough. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost a thing. See you in my next video. Take care.